about to have a great ad episode tonight. We coming to D.C., but we're going to be in Atlanta. Hey, this Thursday, if you in Atlanta, pull up to our live show at Uptown Comedy Corner, man. If y'all support the OCDA movement, pull your ass on up. Atlanta, this Thursday, Uptown Comedy Corner. Tickets on sale. Go get your ticket. Link in the bio. Hey, man, we finna have a great ad episode, but this shit finna be funny, man. Movie coming real soon. Real company, real complaints. The movie coming real soon. Gonna take this thing to the next level, man. Yeah, man, we finna uh take this thing. All them complaints coming in already. But we got a whole list right here, man. If you wanna skip the line for sure, join the live and tell us your complaint over the live. We'll be in Dallas first week of March. That's where we actually shooting the movie at. We're shooting the movie in Dallas. First week of March. Real company, real complaints, the movie. Oh, yeah, the thing coming in. We're going to get this thing started. Let me see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 goddamn complaints. It's going to be a goddamn joyous night tonight. See, I ain't going to keep y'all waiting. We get straight into it. Goddamn. Here we go, y'all. We get straight into it. <clears throat> Hello? Hey, how you doing? I'm speaking with a Mr. Keenan Millet. Uh, this is Keenan Millet. Can I help you? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. It's pretty... That's all right. What's going on? Can I, what can I do for you? How you doing? My name is Agent Ratliff with OSHA Cares, Diversity Affairs, ID number 33712. And I was calling to go over some complaints that were filed on behalf of your work performance. And we're just calling to get your side of the story. You are currently employed at Brown's Dairy Prairie Farms, correct? Yes, I am. Okay, okay. So what we like to do, Miss uh Mr. Can you say it one more time? I don't want to mess it up again. Milliet. Me yet. Me yet. Okay, okay. So what we like to do, Mr. Me yet, uh, we like to go over these complaints and get your side of the story before we make a determining factor of who we want to let go or issue any fines to. And we try to remain unbiased in these situations. So what is, there, what is, this, what is this about what is this about? I mean, I'm I'm These are about complaints that were filed on behalf of your work performance dating all the way back of August of 2023. So I'm going to go over these complaints. These complaints are totally anonymous, but I can read them off to you verbatim. And like I say, Mr. Mia, we just want to hear your side of the story. We try to, we will remain unbiased, no judgment. So I'm going to go over these complaints, starting off with the first one. It says right here, he tells all the black drivers they're going to lose their job or don't come back. Uh, He's a fat redneck that tucks his shirt inside his nasty ass stomach. Don't know shit about the routes. Uh, call all the black drivers boy. And he let the white boys do whatever they want. So, Mr. Miet, 
like I said, we just want your side of the story. So what's going on inside that workplace? Sir, I'm not answering nothing until I find out what, 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 what the, who are you. I, I mean, I, 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 who you affiliated with? Hold on, because you, you're stumbling over your words. And what, when it's on this paper, it becomes true. That's why that's why you're okay. stumbling over your words. And my name is Agent Ratliff with OSHA Cares Diversity Affairs, ID number three three seven one two. Now I want to go over this complaint right here where it says you call all the black drivers boy. Who do you think you are, and why do you why are you calling all the black drivers boy? Mister Mia. Yes, I'm here. Yes, can you answer that question? And remember, this call is being recorded for quality assurance and for our transcription records. And we just want to know. You have a good day, sir. I'm not answering. Why your fat redneck ass always calling the black drivers boy with your fat racist ass? You going to do that shit tomorrow. You go over there and do that shit tomorrow. We going to pull up and we going to tear your ass up. See, you think you got a motherfucking game, which you be letting all them white boys do what the fuck they want to do. But you want to handle the black driver like they ain't shit. But you just don't know. We'll come up there and we going to beat your ass. You better get your motherfucking act together. When you go, when you carry your ass to bed tonight, I want you to lay your ass down, self-reflect on your character. That's your fucking problem now. Your character ain't intact. <laughs> you have a good evening. Nah, it ain't no fucking good evening. That's your problem now. You. <laughs> that nigga look good. You better call his ass back because his character ain't intact. We doing, we character checking tonight. I always want to get up out of there when the truth come out. Yeah, yeah, we're willing to listen earlier. Some of them complaints come out, they try to get up out of there. Say the word boy no more. Who are we from the car? We're gonna keep it going. Straight down the line with it. When his ass go to bed tonight, that motherfucker gonna self reflect. And that's just what this is all about. Making motherfuckers self reflect. One more time. I see everybody joining, trying to join the line. I'm going to get to y'all. I'm going to get on here bullshit. Hello? 
Hey, how you doing? Am I speaking with a Miss Alicia Ofori? Yes. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Agent Ratliff with OSHA Cares Diversity Affairs, ID number 33712. And you are the owner of or you were employed at Beyond Hair Braid, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm my the reason for my call is to go over some complaints that were filed. And what we like to do, Ms. Ofery, we like to remain biased, unbiased in these situations before we make a determining factor of who we want to let go or issue any fines to. So I just wanted to go over these complaints and get your side of the story, if that's uh if you have a moment. Sure. Okay, okay. So these complaints are totally anonymous, but I will read them to you verbatim. It says right here, uh, she's always screaming loud in client's ear. Tend to drop food crumbs on client's head. Comes to work drunk and sloppy. Always cussing associates out when she don't have codeine and she always faking like she's spiritual. So Miss Ofery, I'm assuming is that your real name or was that a given name to you? <laughs> what was the question? I'm sorry. I was asking inquiring about your last name, Ofery. Is that mm -hmm. your Birth name or was that name given to you later in li later in life? That that's my real name. Okay, so oh, yeah. so oh, what oh, about oh, the always uh, uh, screaming loud in clients' ear? Hello, who is this? This is Agent Rat. Who is this? You do have to. <laughs> no, I, I don't do it. This is. Uh... If you ain't the husband, you need to get off the phone. Cause if you just the boyfriend, she can get, she can she can be dumb with you anytime. You getting on the phone like you part of the household. She don't put your no, name on no taxes. No, no I'm get the hell off the phone and put Miss Ofery back on the phone. You getting on the phone like you somebody, boy. Go on, go on somewhere. Like, what these complaints about? It ain't a, if if you ain't braiding hair, you need to get off the phone. I'll be, I'll be over here watching her braid hair. These complaints don't sound so. And you inspired. Now your ass want to braid hair. Go out and get a job. Why is you watching somebody braid hair? You supposed to, what kind of boyfriend is you? You watching your girl braid hair when you can be out here getting some money. Get off the phone. <laughs> yeah, don't put his ragged ass on the phone. Miss Alicia. Like he husband material. Miss Miss Alicia Ofery. Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, back to these complaints. So right here it says you tend to drop food crumbs on oh. clients' head and you be coming to work drunk and sloppy. Oh my goodness. That's what they said? Yes. And you say right here you always cussing out uh cussing associates out when she don't have codeine. So you like to get drunk and you be on drugs and you faking like you spiritual. So you just all around confused. You don't know if you want to party or pray. <laughs> Bruh. So is it any truth to these complaints? Because like I said, we try to remain unbiased before we make a determining factor who we want to let go or issue any fines to. Uh-uh-uh. 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 Okay, well, so this is what's going to happen. You no longer going to braid hair. You going to change your last name back to Smith because they say your last name was Smith. Now you got an African last name, Ofery. That's why I asked you, was you born that name or was it given to you later in life? Because your goddamn name was Alicia Smith. You was a regular American. Now you around here trying to act like you a uh, 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 Efi. You don't practice Efi. You don't know about Oludumare. You don't know about the Orisha. You don't know about Ogun, Obadala, Orumala, Eshu, all them. You don't know nothing. So you need to change your last name back to Smith.
Don't y'all 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 heard the nigga get on the phone? Got that nigga out of here real quick. I, boy, yeah, I, he heard he, he felt it. I was finna tell that. Look. Uh. Talking about you watch a bitch braid hair. Get out here and get some money. Yeah, that'll get a nigga off the phone quick. Boy, that nigga got on the phone like he really was finna make me hang up. Like, boy. People crazy. Zach, can you fight me out? Hey, man, I speak with a, uh, Mr. Miles Woodbury. I'm sorry, he's not here. Okay. Thank you. All right, who's here? Mm -hmm. Never mind, I ain't even gonna say no. I was just gonna say when you file a complaint, it asks for the manager's personal contact, not their fucking work phone number. Hey, Atlanta, y'all better come to my show this Thursday, goddammit. If you in Atlanta, pull up. Uptown coming to come this Thursday. I ain't playing. Please, please. I already don't be charging y'all for this. No more free, Randy. I'm going to have to start paying me for this. Hey, may I speak with uh, Mr. Mike Hansing? You speaking to him? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? My name is Agent Ratliff with OSHA Cares Diversity Affairs, ID number 33712. And I was calling to go over some complaints. You are currently employed at Olive, the manager at Olive Garden, correct? Yes. Okay, so I was calling to go over these complaints, and what we like to do with Mr. Hanson, we like to uh, remain unbiased in these situations before we make a determining factor of who we want to let go or issue any fines to, and these complaints were filed on behalf of your work performance dating all the way back of um, uh, September of 2023. So I just want to know if I had a moment to go over these complaints. Like I said, we just want to get your side of the story, see what's going on inside that workplace. I don't want to send any complaints, but okay. Go ahead. Okay, so right here, I'm going to tell you the complaints are anonymous, but I will read them off to you verbatim. So I'm just asking, do I have your permission to move pr pr to proceed? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so right here it says he's a man who thinks he is a female, fat as fuck, weigh 400 pounds. Time out. Hold on, let me finish. Get through the complaints. Him and his him him and his gay friend always in the back, and they make the kids do the work. So I guess I'm assuming. Time out. Time out. And it say right here. Ask his people if they feel comfortable with him in girls' bathroom, then doesn't listen to what they have to say. And he be leaving the bathroom stank as fuck. And he always get mad 
if you refer to him as a he or him likes to be called a her and, and, and she. Who wrote this? These complaints are anonymous, but like I said, I can't read them out to you verbatim. And I just wanted to know, get your side of the story. So what's really going on inside the Olive Garden, Mr. Hanson? Uh, uh, I, I like, I don't mind using the girl's bathroom because that's, that's what I'm First of all, no. First of all, you are a man. You don't care your ass in the women's bathroom. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how deep you think you is into that woman shit. But I'm gonna tell you right now. It say you uh, 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 weigh four hundred pounds, and I'm woman. Women don't want if you time out. Time out. Time. Don't, it don't matter that you round it up. It's four hundred, and women don't like that. You can't want to be a goddamn woman because you ain't attractive as a man. When your ass become a woman, you still gonna be unattractive. You just gonna be a fat ass woman. That nobody don't want. And nobody don't respect obesity. Male or female. You think, you think, you think because you, you think, you think, you know, time out, time out. Because you think because you trying to be a woman, that's going to hide all your flaws. Like you just going to be a, 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 a skinny, pretty woman. Like you got a goddamn shallow hair disorder. Your ass still fat. Your ass still gonna be big, and your ass still gonna be working at Olive Garden. That's what's And your ass still a man. I don't. These complaints had to come from. Uh, these complaints had to come from. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Hold on. One second. Don't worry about who. Don't worry about who it, it come from. You need to sit I'm up. Catch my I don't. Mr. Ratliff, the, the, the complaints are ridiculous. I've only used a girl's bathroom once. That nigga sounds stupid. I'm doing too much. That just, ugh. All that heavy air breathing, ew. What the fuck was that? We're gonna call back and see. What that nigga don't want? He don't need to be breathing hard like that. That shit ill. And, 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 and you. Mr. Hanson, time, time out. Can you just calm down and just let me speak? I just want, I just want to speak my piece. Quit the heavy breathing. I don't know what's going on, what you just witnessed, or what you just saw, or, or how many, or how far you just ran. Okay, so listen, 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 listen. When you go to work, right? When you go to work, are you going to work as a man or as a woman? And how are you behaving on that job? I, I behave very well. Okay, so you ain't answer the first part. You just answered the latter part of the question. Answer the first part. Are you going to work as a man or a woman? I prefer to be, to be in between. Ain't no in between. And, 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 and you say you weigh you say you weigh three hundred and eighty five pounds. <laughs> Three eighty five. And, and, and you and, 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 and you a man that wanna be a woman, right? No, I don't wanna be a woman I identify as one. That's how I feel sometimes. So sometimes you feel like a woman. When like when you ain't getting the attention you want as a fat ass man, you feel like a skinny pretty woman. Is what you saying. I think you can, you can feel it however you want to feel. Okay, so let me so let me ask you, because you don't need to be in that workplace and, and, and your mind ain't in order. Sometimes. See, 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 right now, I've been character checking not all night, but now it's a mind check. You need to get your mind in order. Because how you going how you gonna to delegate tasks and how you going to be a leader if you don't know what the hell you want to be? You get mad, no, time out, time out, you get mad, no, time out, time out, time out, time out, you get mad when women don't, 
You no time out. You get mad when women don't find you attractive as a man. Then you then you ass want to run over to the woman side and try to escape over there. Then when you try to be a woman, you realize men don't even find your fat ass attractive. So you're not attracted to men or women. So you know what you need to do? It's a you problem. You need to do something about it and fix it your damn self. Get in that gym. Go get you a real job. Get out of the get out of the food industry. No, get out of the food industry. Go get you a real job, and and, and, and work on your and work on your uh your self image, and be a real man. What can I keep my job? You need to be a real fucking man. Stop being a fucking coward. I'm sorry. I just want to keep my job. I need it. I have a lot of things to supply. Hey, hey, you, 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 you gonna keep your job? Cause that's where you gonna remain at. Cause you don't want to better yourself. You don't want you. You ain't gonna do right. You ain't gonna I do right. Know. Who said that thing? We on to the next. I just want to tell him that you feel me? That he need to do something by himself. Cause I don't know, cause you not attractive as a as a man. You think you gonna be a, a a pretty thick woman? No, you still gonna be fat, and nobody gonna like your ass. Putting them kids to work, want to make all them kids work, so you can go off and take a break and fuck off. And that's what's wrong with leaders and managers now. They think they a manager so they can just do what the fuck they want to do and leave it to the goddamn bottom line. Nah, bitch, your ass part of the bottom line too. And your ass going to get out here and, 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 and take orders too, motherfucker. You in the back high on that gay shit. We've been not going to goddamn ladies' room again. That's what I mean. I should call his ass back and scold him about being in that damn lady. That's what I'm going to do later on. Forward. It's no. The person you're trying to... Yeah, I ain't do his fat ass. Thank y'all. I forgot to scold that nigga about being in that damn women's restroom. His freaking nasty ass. Yeah, I'm going to call him back later. I ain't going to waste the live on this fat ass. We're going to keep it rolling. Damn, I forgot to scold that nigga ass about that. Hello? Hey, man, I speak with a Miss Gabrielle Dawson. Who? Who's that? Gabrielle Dawson. Yeah, I'm a Miss Gabrielle Dawson. Hold on, hold on. 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 October of 2023. And you are... Come again? You at home? OSHA Cares Diversity Affairs ID number 33712. And I am speaking with a Miss Gabrielle Dawson with Shiny Stars Child Development Center, correct? You say you have some complaints? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we're going to get to that. I just want to confirm who I'm speaking with. Miss Gabrielle Dawson uh, with Shiny Star Child Development Center. I was shiny songs. Okay, okay. So what we like to do, Miss Dawson, we like to uh, remain unbiased in these situations before we make a determining factor of who we want to let go or issue any fines to. We just want to call and get your side of the story, see what's going on inside of that daycare or that child development center. Same thing. Who's filing complaints? These complaints are totally anonymous, but I will read them off to you verbatim. And I just want to know if we have... Uh, if I have your permission to proceed, to get your side of the story. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So right here, it says, 
She's very disrespectful. Uh, take people, kids, hair down. They ain't supposed to take down. Take kids out clothes. Parents put them in and put them in hand-me-downs. Sir, are you Her, Is this serious? Yes, yes, ma'am. This is a real company. These are real complaints. And it says right here, her and Miss Didi be eating the kids' food, uh, digging in their ass and touching the kids. They think they all that because they black and got white, got a white person job. So, Miss Dawson, like I said, we 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 try to remain unbiased in these situations. We just want to get your side of the story. So, what's going on inside? That work, that workplace, that daycare. Nothing is going on inside the daycare besides kids being taken care of. Okay, okay. So you, nobody ain't touching them kids' hair. Y'all ain't jealous of the kid when the kids come in with a nice little hairdo. Y'all ain't taking no. it down. If someone had a complaint about the daycare, why would they continue to bring their children? First of all, I ask all the questions. And the reason why they got a complaint is because they've been bringing it up, but y'all ain't doing nothing about it. That's why they continue to bring their children. People got to work. People can't just stay uh, home. People just can't stay name? home because y'all want to be jealous and take them good girls' braids out. What is your name? My name is Asian Ratliff with OSHA Care Diversity Affairs, ID number 33712. That's and it say, time out, time out, time out, time out. It say right here, her and Miss Didi be eating the kids food and and they be digging in their ass and touching the kids so that's how real nasty and child exactly so why is y'all up in there doing it digging in your ass and want to touch the kid because y'all know exactly what you're doing you could have washed your hands you've grown enough to have knowledge to wash your hands you shouldn't be even be digging in your ass because your ass should be clean now you want to get on the phone talking about that's nasty like you were upstanding yeah, citizen you know your ass know you're nasty what? Whoever complained is nasty. Nah, and it say right, she's very disrespectful. Now you're on the phone acting like you got sense. And it's right here, it say, take kids out of their clothes. Their parents put them in and put them in hand me down. So y'all just jealous of them little girls. Y'all don't want to see them fresh. Y'all don't want to see them with their hair did or nothing. All because y'all, all because y'all, all because you working that job, you can't afford what them parents bringing their kids, bringing their kids in. You wish your kids can dress like that. And had they had done all the time, and y'all take all y'all take y'all just time out time out y'all take all y'all jealousy out on them little kids. Stop fucking with their hair. And they say right here they think they say right here time out they say right here they think they all that because they black and got a white person job. So I'm assuming you because you are the director of Shining Stars. Child Development Center, correct? What's a white person's job? Anything with direct, all that unnecessary, t that's a white person's job. And you mm -hmm. know it exactly what they and talking what about. Your job? And what is your job? And who are you? And what is your title? First of all, I already told you that. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. We here to go over these complaints. I'm here to see what's going on inside that workplace because you're nasty and you're jealous. That's all. the only thing going on inside that workplace. Well, everybody nasty and, and everybody jealous. And Need to take the proper procedures. If you have a complaint, take the proper. Oh, procedures. we will take the proper procedure because we will be up there. We will go. We will be up there to see what's going on. And y'all better not be in the uh, uh, taking out them goddamn kids' hair and, and putting them in the clothes and putting them in the old ass clothes. That's what you're doing. That's exactly what y'all doing. Y'all swapping clothes. The clothes that do, shut up. The clothes that them parents bringing their kids in, y'all taking them out and taking them to y'all kid and bringing y'all ragged ass clothes from y'all ragged ass house and putting them on them beautiful kids. Keep y'all ragged ass attire. Keep y'all ragged ass clothes off them people kids. Get you some money and 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 and, and, and build some generational wealth. Build some generational wealth for your kids so you can leave something behind for your kids. Stop stealing from other people's kids. We got money if we got white people jobs, as you call it. We got money. White people ain't shit neither. Anybody with a job, it it, it, it just got down working. I'm working. I'm doing my job. Or whoever, whoever filed the complaint, needs to take the proper procedures. I'm not about to sit here and take it there with you. All I can tell you is, stop stealing them clothes. 
Because I bet your ass probably trying to squeeze in them. Because that's how jealous you is. You want to wear the, you, you, you so jealous, you want to wear the clothes. Squeezing your is big ass up parents, in them. Is this a parents playing on the phone? Is this somebody's parents? Hello? Hello? I don't like that. Taking them kids' hair down and, and, and swapping their clothes. That's all they doing. That's all they doing. Them people with daycare, but I'm telling you, everything y'all uh, 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 send y'all kids with daycare, them people be stealing it and taking it home to their kids. It's a lot of people that work at daycare that be jealous of the parents. Mm -hmm. Them daycare teachers be jealous of the parents and how they treat their kids. And they'll do anything to make your kid look ugly. They'll take their hair out, put some nasty clothes on. I'm telling you, this is real. A lot of daycare, they make it, they try to make your kid look ugly and, and lower their self-esteem and fuck with their self-esteem and shit. At two years old, they trying to fuck with these kids' self-esteem. <clears throat> I'm telling y'all, y'all better be careful who y'all dropping y'all kids off to. Hey, hey, am I speaking with a Mr. James Capernia? Yes, sir. How you doing? How you doing? My name is Agent Ratliff with OSHA Cares Diversity Affairs, ID number 33712. And I was calling to go over some complaints. If you had a moment, these complaints were filed on behalf of your work performance dating all the way back to October 2023. And Mr. Capernia, before I get started, I will tell you we like to remain unbiased in these situations before we make a determining factor of who we want to let go or issue any fines to. All right. And uh, you are supervisor at Android Industries. Uh, yes. I just wanted to confirm that. So you are the supervisor at Android Industries? Yes. Okay, okay. So right here, I'm going to let you know that these complaints are totally anonymous, but I will read them out to you verbatim. And I'm going to start with the first complaint. And like I said, Mr. Capernia, we just want to get your side of the story, see what's going on inside that workplace. So right here it says... They only random drug test black people, hire, hire white people straight through the company, but make the black people go through temps, temp services, temp agency. Give the whites and Mexican endless chances with points. Rebecca in quality is also racist. She calls the black people by the wrong name all the time on purpose. And it say right here, every blue and green hat is racist. <clears throat> so, Mr. Capernia, uh, what's your side of the story? Because like I said, we try to remain unbiased in these situations, so we just want to get your side. So what's going on inside that workplace? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. But mm -hmm. uh, So you don't, have, you don't know what's going on on your shift? Well, I mean, I didn't know any of that was going on. You know, How you didn't know if, if it's about you? So y'all not random. So time out, time out. Y'all not randomly drug testing black people. See that that part? No, time out, time out. That pause alone just let me know that 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 is true. And I want to let you know everything that's on this paper. Once I write it down, it becomes true. And it say right here, y'all be hiring the white people straight through the company, but make all the black people go through a temp agency. And why is that, Mr. Uh, Capernia? Kind of last name is that, Capernia. 
Why is that, Mr. Uh, Capernia, that y'all hire the white people straight through the company and make all the black people go through a temp agency? That's, those are my rules, sir. No, that's you know, you know, what, that you know, you know, you know what that is? You know, you you know, you know, you know what that's called? You know what that's called? That's called cheap labor. Y'all don't want to pay the black people for their hard work, but y'all want to pay the white people for being around in that warehouse just fucking off and bullshitting around. Y'all think y'all can just pay a temp service whatever they want and, and have all these black people in the warehouse starving and not doing nothing. And it say right here, y'all give the whites and Mexicans endless chances with points. Now, me, I'm familiar with the point system. How many points are uh, uh, are allow allotted to each employee? Up to four. Four points. So y'all got people walking on air shit. It's supposed to be nine point nine, at least nine or twelve. How can somebody go off a point system and y'all giving them four points? And I believe y'all only doing that with the temps. Because y'all know damn near every temp is black. How the hell somebody going to survive off fucking four points? Half a point, you come in early. No, no, no. You leave early or you come in late, that's half a point. You miss a day, that's goddamn a whole point. A no call, no show is two points. But y'all giving a motherfucker four points and expect somebody to have longevity at that. And it, and it say right here, Rebecca in quality is also racist. She calls black people by the wrong name all the time. How long has Rebecca been working there? Been working there about two years. Okay, okay. And she's been working in the same position for two years? Yes, sir. Okay, so that lets me know that she don't want to grow. And that also lets me know that y'all don't mind keeping somebody in the same position because y'all, if she white, oh, her, oh, her position secured. And that's what the hell going on in that. Now, what's a blue and green hat? Because it say every blue and green hat is racist. I'm guessing that was the supervisor in, in, in the, the, the team leads. Yes, sir. Okay, so why, if they racist, that mean all of them white. Why ain't no black, blue, or green hats? Yeah, we're going to have to be up there. We will be coming up there making a visit because we, yeah. Because it seems like y'all got all the white people in power. And y'all just got all the black people just workers. And that don't fly with me. Yes, sir. That do not fly with me. You can say yes, sir, all you want. Try to act respectful all you want. But I know your character. I know you're as evil and wicked. That's how y'all play. Y'all play nice on, 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 on the exterior, but in the interior, your ass rotten. Trying to hit me with a yes, sir, trying to be all respectful. Your ass ain't respectful, especially not with a motherfucking last name like Capernia. That sound like a, that sound like, that sound, Capernia sound like the descendant of, of, of a, a goddamn uh, 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 ancient ruler over in Greece who was killing people and, and didn't give a fuck about people. Capernia. And that's where you come from. Y'all don't give a fuck about people. Trying to be respectful. Fuck you still on my line for. I'm hearing you out. I'm hearing you out. The fuck off of here. Yeah. And fucking rotten in the inside. Oh, damn, my bad. I ain't even checked the message. <clears throat> I ain't let nobody join, man. Nah. We're gonna do one more, and then I gotta head to the airport, man. Atlanta, Uptown Comedy Corner. Better see y'all there.
It's Thursday. My bad, I couldn't get to all the text messages, man. Y'all should have requested to join the live. Into voicemail. The person you're trying. We'll be in Dallas first week of uh first week of March. Hey fool, you funny as shit, fool. I swear to God. Appreciate it, my boy. No, nah, for sure. Show. I'm trying to get on the team though, and I'm in DC with it. All right, so what you gotta do is, man, you gotta go out in the field, do what I do, find you a job. You feel me? Find you a company, make us some complaints. Ask for the manager to go up on the ass, send me the video, we'll send you an employee package. That's easy. That's, it's not hard as possible to get the complaint. Listen, listen, a lot of people think it's easy and say it's easy. I only got two videos. We only got two employees so far. Ain't nobody dying. Ain't nobody got the heart for this shit. The reason why we asked y'all to do this, just to see if you got the heart to do it. So, sure. Go get me that video. Go out, get me that video, and, and goddamn... We're going to send your employee back. Make sure you hit me back when I send you that video. Oh, trust me. We're going to post the video. We're going to tag you in it. We're going we to turn you up, man. We're going to let the world know we got a new employee. That's one thing about it. I ain't afraid to share the love. I'm afraid to tag people. You read me? Motherfuckers be selfish with their platform and shit. That's a bet. I'm going to so send that shit over to you. We're going to turn you up. All right, that's a bet. Yes, All sir. Right. Hey, my speed with the Miss Teresa Miles. Who's calling? My name is Agent Ratliff with OSHA Cares Diversity Affairs, ID number 33712. And I was calling to go over some complaints that were filed on behalf of your work performance dating all the way back November 2023. Complaints regarding my work performance? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You are uh, a manager at Plant Supply Company? I'm the manager, yes. Okay, so what we, what we like to do, we like to call and go over these complaints and we we like to try to remain unbiased in these situations before we make a determining factor of who we want to let go or issue any fines to. So we just want to go over these complaints and get your side of the story, see what's going on inside that workplace. Ms. Miles? I'm here. I'm just trying to wonder what you're doing here. Yeah, they never tell you to your face. This is, people always talk behind your back, and trust me, the people I talk to every day, they never know, they never see it coming. But I have to go over it, and these complaints are totally anonymous, but I can read them off to you verbatim. So do uh, do you have a moment? Can I go over these complaints? You were talking about the company? Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. We are contracted by Plant Supply Company, and we just handle all the affairs of the handle all the complaints and affairs that's going on inside the workplace we're like we're, we're we're above hr hr is for the company uh here at ocean the cares diversity affairs we're here for the employees see hr be, hr be having the managers back you say what now i wasn't notified but you can go ahead okay okay so right here it says let me see one, two, three, four, five. Right here it says she, she's rude as fuck. Uh, smells like stank stripper ass juice. Always, always trying to fire someone. But thinks she, she run the place, but she really pussy. Flirt with flirt. I'm talking about flirt with guys with BBC. So Miss my house. Miss Miles, because it sounds like I'm, I don't, like I said, we try to remain unbiased in these situations. We have no judgment, but judging by the sound of your voice, you sound like a sweet young lady. And right here, 
it says you're always trying to fire someone and it says you think you run the place but she's really pussy just totally caught off guard especially with your language well no no i'm i i told you i told you in the beginning i said the complaints are anonymous but i will read them off to you verbatim and i don't know if you understand the lingo or what they're trying to say when they say that she thinks she runs the place but she's really pussy that means that you're really soft and they will beat you up they know they can beat you up whoever filed this knows has uh inside knowledge that they know they can beat you up that's why they said that she, she, that yeah the complaints are anonymous so you don't know who it's coming from you just have to go and work go inside the workplace watch your back have great character treat people with respect and, and you won't have to worry about anything that's the whole purpose of this call because when once you get off the phone miss miles i want you to lay down in, in, in your twin size bed and i want you to self-reflect on, 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 on your actions and how you behave inside that workplace and how you carry yourself and how you treat people. This is not how someone. Can I, can I, yeah, gotta go to work watching your back and watch and looking over your shoulder. Cause people know, know you pussy. And that's the, and that's the bad, and that's the, that's the reputation you don't want to have. You don't want to be a, a, a snitch, uh, or you don't want to be, have a reputation. People think you pussy. Cause people gonna always try you. And they say right here you flirt. Time out. You say right here you flirt with guys with BBC, bit bit black challengers. So you like fast cars and scat packs. And, and, and hold on, time out. I ain't none. Right here they say smell like stank stripper ass juice. You know the contents of stripper ass juice. You know what? You know what's uh, uh what makes stripper ass juice. Sweat and fingerprints. And ain't no telling where no man hands been at. That's why it's called stank stripper ass juice. Is it, is Sweat it and right? fingerprints. That's the contents of stripper ass juice. You say what now? Is this a prank? I don't feel comfortable. No, this is not a prank. These are real complaints. And this is a real company. And we doing we dealing with real complaints right now. So I just want to let you know. Time out, time out, time out, because let's get back on the serious note. When you go into work tomorrow, if you do the right thing and you treat people right, you won't have to be looking over your shoulders and watching your back. See, now you ass scared. You ain't even want to go to work tomorrow. You really want to resign. But you're going to go on. No, no, time out, time out. You're going to, no, time out, time out. Because you're going, you're going to go on to work tomorrow. You're going to have some heart. You're going to stop being pussy. You're going, you're going to get that name up off you already. Because you don't need to be walking around as a manager and people under you think you pussy. They supposed to fear you. You can't file your, well, you can file a complaint, but it's going to be a while before we get it. Because like I say, these complaints were dated filed all the way back in November 2023. And we in February, so you can file a complaint, but it's going to be a while before we get around to it. You need to talk to someone above me. I don't feel comfortable having this conversation. It don't matter, because once I write these complaints down, they become true. And now you're trying to avoid it. But you, you no, no, you can't avoid the truth. Whatever. Yes. And I did. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, now she's gonna go to work looking over her shoulder, watching her back. Hey man. Hold on, let me see. Man, you got how much time we got. Hey man, I appreciate y'all joining in, man. Hey, don't forget this Thursday, goddamn it. Uptown Comedy Corner, man. Come see the live show. If you haven't seen me perform stand up, you don't want to miss it, man. Your boy a fool on this stage. Come, come see a live show. So, oh, we got to do the uh the little recap. Which one y'all was fucking with? Let's see, cause y'all know I I. I can't even read the comment. I'll be so in the zone. I don't be knowing what y'all be saying. So which one y'all were fucking with, man? What 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 was the highlight of the night? I 
I can't come back to public warehouse. They say don't uh, add an extra security to their compound. He said the last one. Mr. Capernaum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Damn, I forgot about Mr. Capernaum that bad. Oh, the fat, fat he she, yes, yes. The daycare director. What the fuck I told the daycare director? I got to watch it back. Oh, damn. Uh-uh. That's what we supposed to do. We supposed to call the fat nigga back and scold him by being in that fucking women's restroom. Hell yeah. Hold on. Before we run out of time. Okay, he think he... Yeah, that, that's what we supposed to do. I knew it was something. Yeah, by being in that fucking women's restroom. Damn, come on, man. We ran out of time. Like three more minutes. I hate Instagram only give you an hour on live, bro. I do this shit all night. And then I, I don't go to TikTok no more because as soon as you eat, how I talk to that nigga, the fat, the fat gay nigga, I can not say it all that shit on TikTok. That's why I fuck with Ali. Damn, that nigga need to pick up. <clears throat> nigga crying and shit. Hello? Hey, Mousey, hey, is this Mr. Hansen, the, the, fat, the, the fat woman? Who who was that that answered early? I know you ain't got a boyfriend. Anyways, I was calling I was calling to tell you that uh maybe we got off on the wrong foot early and I wanted to apologize what I the things I said to you, but I do want to let you know keep your fat ass at the women's restroom. You do not belong in there. I don't give a fuck how 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 deep you think of uh, much of a woman you think you is. Keep your fat ass out the women's restroom. Because the women's restroom don't supposed to be smelling like your ass. That's the problem now. You want to keep going in there and, and, and disrespecting the women because you really can't be a woman. So now you want to leave a nasty ass stench behind. I try, to, I try to clean it up. You don't try to clean shit up. Stay from out of there. So fat, nasty ass. Stay the fuck from out of there. Don't be asking nobody, is it cool? Because it, it'll never be cool. Motherfucker. Can't be said about that. Hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. This goddamn Calamar complaint call. Season three, episode four, man. Trust me, hey. All my day one, hey. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. And remember, real complaints, no, real company, real complaints, the movie, coming soon, probably March or April. So y'all be on the lookout for that. And this Thursday, come see me perform live at Uptown Comedy Corner, man. Tickets on sale right now. The link is in my bio. Uh, 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 appreciate y'all tuning in. Go to the website. Get y'all some merch. Y'all got to represent the brand. Once y'all put the OCDA brand on, y'all are letting people know that y'all are not to be fucked with. So go to the website. Get you some merch, man. OCDAofficial.com. Yes. And I love y'all, and I appreciate my day one, and I appreciate my new fans, my new supporters. Y'all keep spreading the word, and, and, and keep spreading the movement. Tell somebody about me, man, because they might need me at their job. So, hey, and we, and we doing this all for the love. But I'm finna go to the airport and yeah. I better see y'all. If you in Atlanta, I better see your ass Thursday at my show.